What's up, y'all? It's TJ the DJ, your favorite DJ, and y'all are tuning in to Pop Austin Media. And we got Grace Sorensen in the building. How What's you doing? Up? I'm good. How are you? Good. good. I'm excited to interview you and start the vibes. So we're just going to be going over some questions, kind of see what you've been up to since the last cool. time you've been here. Um, so what have you been up to since the last time you were on Pop Austin Media? Dang. Um, there's been like quite a few things. Um, a lot of collab work, a lot of stuff with like James Robinson and Magna Carta, working on a new project, doing my first residency at firehouse so some cool stuff for sure yeah that's awesome congrats on that thank i was you. checking your instagram thank and I was you like, i appreciate that get it girl it's a fun time it really like i'm i love it it's really it's a cool place too it's awesome yeah to find your passion and then always. just just go mm-hmm. out there and show it to the world it's always great so how was your mexico trip oh <laughs> y'all check the instagram don't oh, you yeah <laughs> it was wonderful um my all my half my family lives there so um i got to go visit them for the first time in such a long time and that was my first time being in mexico um i had be, i've been to guatemala and belize and other central america places um quite often or pretty frequently growing up but i had never been to where my family is from so they're all in the city, which is super cool. It's like 70 degrees year round. It's super nice. Um, and we just had a, a freaking incredible time. And they're the sweetest people. I love my family. It's it's really wonderful to be back with them and be, you know, enriched in the culture again. And it's a beautiful place. Lots of art and history and castles. Mm-hmm. It's just dope. It was a, It was a really good trip. And so, so your ethnicity is Mexican? And yes. Danish. And Danish? Yes. Dope. Yeah, so I'm Mexican I'm, too. So I'm, I'm a like, little mix. Yeah. Yes. Hey, That's aren't dope. we all though? <laughs> I know. I know. So um, how was it opening for Diana Ross though? Like she is such a legend. So. That was that was a super cool time. Um, to be honest, like I didn't even talk about it or like before or after because it didn't like feel real to me. It just like... I don't know. It was just uh, kind of weird how it happened. Um, one of my closest friends named Gabe, his mom works for, um, what is it? Uh, Child Guidance Center. It's it's this uh, this program that works with, un- with kids with mental health. And they were partnering with um, some, they somehow got a show together with Diana Ross. Um, and they all partnered with... Um, the what is it called where what the um what where the track is oh the um, circuit of circuit America? of the americas yes yeah. yeah. so they partnered with them and then originally i was gonna play at their like kids event in mm-hmm. the in, in the daytime and then they ended up calling me the week before saying, hey, we didn't sell enough tickets for the the little uh, kids thing they were trying to put on. Mm-hmm. So would you be cool with like actually opening for Diana Ross? And I was like, hmm, hmm. Like, that's right. not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> like, I thought they were going to tell me, like, sorry, like, you have to drop out. Like, we can't do this anymore. And instead, it like turned into like an even better opportunity. So obviously, I was like, absolutely, yes. So um we just kind of changed the times around and then I ended up going before Jordan Matthew Young who's also incredible and um she's she's so sick like I didn't get to talk to her um there she was being very COVID conscious which Mm -hmm. we all were but she you know I mean I don't want to say anything mean but like you know we need to protect her health um oh no that's so let them know absolutely (laughs) no and so she had like she pulled up in a little you know private car and then had her bodyguards around that were like, move, move, step aside. And I was like, dang. <laughs> like, I was trying to tell her, like, hey, Miss Di- Miss Ross, like, thank you for what you do for this this entire globe. Um, but I didn't get to actually talk to her um, just because they were being super safe with her, yeah. which I completely respect and understand. Um, but, yeah, it was awesome. We got to watch her show, her whole show from 
the side of the stage so I got to hang out with her band and and you know be all over, all up in her area and it was it was sick like I never yeah, would have thought awesome. that that would have happened so it was cool yeah that's definitely a great accomplishment like, thank that is you just so <laughs> thank cool you, thank you. like my dad used to play Diana Ross all the time so it's just like it didn't all wow. our dads yeah, yeah right <laughs> yeah <laughs> very true so how was it playing in front of all those people in such a big venue like that it was awesome and you know people have asked me that before and to be honest with you I was less nervous um, doing that than I have been at like Firehouse, weirdly. And hmm. and in general, I don't really get nervous on stage. Um, it's kind of like, I, I did this with dance too. It's like backstage fright. So before I go on and maybe like two hours before, I'll get nervous. But then the second I step on, it's kind of like it all goes away and it's not really about me anymore. It's just about like creating an energy that people want to be involved in and like my band having a good time so that all kind of like goes away but it honestly felt like I was very at peace and it was super fun like the crowd was you know such a cool crowd because of Diana Ross so Mm -hmm. it was dope yeah that's awesome Mm -hmm. and so do you feel like it's because there's so many people out there that maybe you don't feel as nervous than being in a smaller venue like Firehouse I think honestly it's because I I don't know Maybe it's because I don't know everybody. Like, it's not um, people that I have close relationships with. People at Firehouse, um, of course, there's some people that I've never met before, but most people that show up to my shows are all people that I know and and people that have supported for a long time. So it's kind of like, I don't want to let them down. So I'll get a little (laughs) nervous, you know? Or like, there's some very cool people that show up and I'm like, (sighs) like, I don't want to make them, you know, think less of like what I'm doing. So the pressure the pressure rises but <laughs> i don't know yeah but it, it was definitely like i was at peace for sure yeah that is great to hear yeah it's like what's what's better than being at peace on Girl, stage know, like you know, and that's when you get in the zone and you like close your eyes and yes you and that's it. when you control the crowd that's yes. when you can really yes. really do your thing totally that's so great so i saw that you have a new music video out called pretty mm-hmm. boy mm-hmm. so how is it making that and working with dan to the l yeah so daniel is is my go-to like he's the best um i've never used anybody well i did but that was like some of my homies and it was such a that was also a really cool um experience but i've worked with daniel for two music videos and he is just incredible like i i don't have to tell him anything he just films it i direct it and then he goes home and and cuts it perfectly there's no there's i think i had like one alteration that was made in the last in the pretty boy video Mm -hmm. um but for that song um i had a a very clear vision of what i wanted it to look like i knew i wanted it to have like orangey moody lighting um and everybody wearing black and i knew i wanted dancers that represented the pretty boys so i had um three of my close friends two of them came in from houston they're all just uh boys that i i know through growing up dancing um and they're all so gifted and su- such good people. And we choreographed it on the spot. And um, I just kind of directed, like, what formations we were doing. And uh, they they pretty much choreographed it. And then we shot everything. And it just went really smoothly. Um, yeah, it, it was a, a really cool experience. I wanted it to be simpler than my first video. But mm-hmm. I think it translated well with the song. Nice. Yeah, I liked seeing the guys and doing their little. This so cute, snaps. right? This so is cute. so cute. Um, so you were a dancer before. Yes, and I still am, just okay. not as like intense. But yes. So did you do like ballet, or did you do it in high school? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, you, you did the I whole did, thing. I did the whole pre-pro <laughs> track. Um, I was on point for like four years. Um, I went to YGP. I like did everything like I was a ballerina for a minute I was like yeah this is what I want to do with my life like I want to be a ballerina but um there's a very specific uh type of body and a type of personality that you have to have for it and I just knew that that wasn't you know where my heart really was but I love ballet like I I cry every time I see ballet it's very emotional for me it's so beautiful Mm -hmm. um but it just wasn't you know where I knew that I was meant to be but I did that and then commercial hip-hop and a lot of commercial dancing and still do that um but yeah I grew up all in it that's awesome though you know you're a multi-talented artist and that's great to have um 
So I also know that you did a feature with Quinn um, called yeah. Walk the Line. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so can you like elaborate on that and how that came about? Okay. So picture this. I'm like chilling at home. I'm watching the Fenty show. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm not on my phone. And so I like check my Instagram like right before I go to sleep. And I see this DM from Vic, who's one of the guys that works at 512. And he's like, hey, like, Quinn is in the studio. Like, can you come through? Like, and I love Quinn. I have been a fan for a long time. So I was like, yes, of course. And um, yes, it was like 3 a.m. And (laughs) I was like, all right, I got to go. So I just took a shower and then um, drove over there and then we recorded it. They already had it written out, so I didn't really have to, like, write anything or anything like that. Um, Kaya was there. He's super dope. I got to meet him. Um, and I just went in the booth and recorded it, and it, they were real happy with it. And I was like, dope. So that's how it happened. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. So when did you become a fan of Quinn? Um, Probably, like, my sophomore year of high school. Um, okay. I don't know. I, I had been, like, interested in, like, learning more about the the artists around here that were coming out, and I like his style a lot. It's kind of aggressive sometimes, and that's why I was confused. I was like, how am I going to sing on a Quinn track? Because I didn't know, like, what type of vibe I was walking into, mm-hmm. and so, um, but it ended up being, like, perfect for, like, female vocals. Um, but yeah, I've been a fan for, like, a minute. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Hey, we got to keep all the Austin artists together. Yeah, support each other. Absolutely. Mm. So uh, one question before you go. How yeah. come you wasn't in the music video? They didn't like tell me anything about it. Uh, they missed uh, out, man. Yeah. They should have had you in there. Come I was on. kinda yes. hoping I was hoping to like get a contact from them, but mm-hmm. it's all good. Like I understand they're busy. They're t- he gets stuff out super quick. So, you know, I wasn't expecting that, but it was still cool to like have it represented in that way. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, it, it, yeah. So was it yeah. like, did you just like pop up on Instagram and see that they were recording it or something? Yeah, and I'm not going to lie. I was like a little bit sad, but it's okay. Like I would have been too. <laughs> I would have been like, you can like, let me know. I, like, I came through at three. Like, choir of girls and I wasn't in it. But it's right. all good. It's all good. Dang. Yeah, that's crazy. You need to be, I would message his ass and be like, hey, no. <laughs> give my credit. <laughs> Let's record Run again. me that credit. <laughs> Run me the credit. For real. No, so I've filmed with Quinn before and it, cool. it definitely was like on the spot real quick. See, and yeah, it's just, you know, he's trying to get stuff out and move on. So I understand yes. the hustle. So I'm I'm not like butthurt about it. Yeah, it's, it's okay. all good. <laughs> but whenever they hear that song, you go make sure and tell them that yes. that was your voice. That's me, guys. It's me. <laughs> Yeah. So um, what other Austin artists would you want to work with? Well, um, I, to be honest, don't really do features very much. Um, It's just not really like, I don't want to say I'm picky, but I'm picky. Um, And sometimes I'll do them, but I don't, you know, put it out there. Like I have this rate, you can hire me for whatever, Mm because I don't really want to work that way. Um, But so far I've worked with some really dope people um like i said like magna carta she megs is on one of my songs that's going to come on my new project or single i haven't decided if it's going to be a ep or a single yet but Mm -hmm. um she's been dope and working with black odyssey of course and harry adokwa and james and i have a feature with Sivion actually i don't know if you're familiar with him are you yeah so i I, yeah i go to school for music and so they always like have us going out to these things so yeah i've heard of them and black odyssey and manga so that's awesome (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) that's really dope for you to be yes um, you know moving around with them because yes because i know i see him on the chronicle and all yeah he's awesome juan's doing amazing it's awesome to see dope um so what's your dating life like (sighs) it's just uh, it's just like a waste of time talking about it like i don't want to talk about it like it's just it is what it is and i'm not focused on that Mm -hmm. and right now it's all business and doing what i love and that's not really like on my mind i mean yeah it's just not really important right now yeah yeah. well you're trying to get yeah you're trying to get to your goal and that is yeah of course a little bit of a distraction especially absolutely i don't need drama like i just Mm -hmm. don't want to have to worry about you and your feelings and yeah yeah worry about yourself but Mm -hmm. when you get to that point Mm -hmm. what is your ideal guy um someone that's a good person that's Mm -hmm. it you know i feel like you know I was even in Mexico, and and people there are just very, 
solid individuals and you know there's you know jokes about like people outside of the u.s kind of making fun of the way that americans behave but um there is definitely like a way that like it's just expected that you treat people with kindness no matter you know what class you're in and no matter what like economic status you have so just someone that like knows how to treat other people and someone that knows how to like respect their family and respect people around them that's honestly like the the biggest qualities that are important to me yeah having good morals totally you're definitely you're definitely right about that people totally. are straying away from like tradition i'd whack <laughs> yeah and, and then we need to get back to our roots get back yeah. to kindness love no yes. hate mm-hmm. get with it come on guys totally um so what upcoming shows and music do you have coming out um i i kind of mentioned it um i have i was going to do a project Mm -hmm. there's about four songs that are solid and that are ready to come out but i am kind of planning on how i'm gonna do so but right now it's um some really cute songs one of them is obviously with a feature with magna carta which will be Mm -hmm. my first um feature that i've had on a song of my own um and i love it she did an incredible job with the feature um that will also come out with a video as well i'm gonna talk to daniel so (laughs) daniel if this comes out before i've talked to you i'm talking to you soon right um let him know yeah (laughs) but yeah that's it's that's the new projects and then um some other feature work like sivion i know is releasing the project that we did together um pretty soon and there's also a video for that um, that we shot like Friday, so that'll be out soon as well, and then work with uh, Magna Carta's projects and all that. So all of us kind of uh, Harry Oduk will use this word cross pollinate, and mm-hmm. I, I really like that a lot. We all kind of just benefit each other and help each other, like you know, blossom. So there's some stuff, there's some cool stuff coming. Yeah, that's a beautiful way to put it. Yeah. Um, and any shows coming up? Yeah, um, like I said, I'm in the middle of a firehouse residency, so. There's uh, one more show, two more shows this Thursday and then next Thursday. Then after that, um, in October, I have a couple shows in San Antonio. um, And I'll be posting about them. So if you're interested, the people out there, there will be (laughs) flyers and such being posted. But that's all for now. Dope. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to come out to one of your events. I appreciate it. They're free, too. The firehouse shows are free. That's what we love to hear. Yeah. No excuses. Because yeah. it's free. <laughs> I posted, I was like, um, I know you people like free stuff in this economy. Like, I love a good free thing. So, um, you know, make sure to come out if you're over 21 or you have a fake ID. Can I say that? <laughs> Is that like illegal if I mention that? We'll like beep it out or something. <laughs> yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> Well, you know, there's ways to get in. <laughs> you but know, if just, you're just trying just to go listen to music. Just wink at them and tell them the drum yeah. I'm kidding. Don't come. Don't come if you're under 21. Don't come. Wink. Wink, wink. Well, I got one question. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade being overturned? That I, I don't like talking about politics, but I'm sure all, right, cool. all of us feel the same way. Or most people, most women yeah. feel the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's... I'm like, we just gave each other the eye. Like, yeah, we're on the same page. (laughs) (laughs) Facts. So where can we find you on social media and YouTube? Everything. Um, Everything uh, is Grace Sorensen. If you're looking for me on Spotify, Tidal, SoundCloud. Wait, actually. Yeah, I am on SoundCloud Um, Mm -hmm. and all those things. Apple Music. um, It's all Grace Sorensen. My Instagram is Real Graces. And then... um, YouTube, Grace Sorensen, everything like that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was so great having you and meeting no, you in you person. thank you for having me back. Thank you. And this is your new Pop Austin yes, Media merch. merch. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Much, much appreciated. And I see that extra large. Y'all know how I like my style. Yeah, you're like, uh, yeah. Over, oversized <laughs> is the vibe. I'll open this up. Yeah, so thank Thank you so so much much. for coming out. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, And thank y'all for tuning in to Pop Austin Media. I'm TJ the DJ. Make sure y'all tune in to Grace Sorensen and all her future events. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. (laughs) Appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and make sure y'all tune in to Tuesday Music Reviews on Pop Austin Media, and like and subscribe.